morning welcome to the video I'm on week two of my cut and even though can you call it a cut if you haven't been bulking before or anytime you've been cutting calories I don't know but I want to call it a cut because it sounds more fun today I'll be showing you my daily habits my current routine and update you on this week's result so without further ado let's go So as you might know, depending on whether you've been following me for a while or not, and if you're new here, hi, subscribe. Last week, I injured my back doing deadlifts, so I'm taking some time off from weightlifting, and I'll go back as soon as I feel fully healed, which I think it's gonna be tomorrow. <laughs> because I'm not weightlifting, I upped my steps from 10,000 to 12,500, and it honestly hasn't been that difficult. I either go on a big walk at the end of the day or two smaller ones if you're feeling worried about working out and you don't know where to start really at the end of the day the thing that makes the most difference is your tde total daily energy expenditure so if you don't know where to start start by just going on walks try taking the stairs instead of the elevator park a little farther from your destination go on walking dates with your friends and partner rather than just sitting at a cafe and truly these small changes really compound over time welcome to breakfast if you have seen my latest video you might already know this recipe but it's chocolate protein greek yogurt strawberries peanut butter the only thing i did different here is adding brown rice flakes and the only reason i did that was for a more crunchy consistency that i was craving anyway you will find the recipe for this and the rest of my meals in the description box if you're interested For lunch, I'm gonna have a huge veggie field salad. This is baby jam tomatoes. No, this is baby jam lettuce. I'm gonna add my all time favorite cherry tomatoes, celery, zucchini, last but not least, red onions. Red onions are really good for you. They taste amazing and have organ sulfur, organosulfur compounds that are responsible for their anti-cancer properties. I'll link Dr. Ferman's website in the description box if you're interested. This is chickpea and tofu mesh with avocado, American mustard, Greek yogurt, onion and garlic powder. Again, you will find all the recipes in the description box. I mean, come on, delicious and 362 calories, 30 grams carbs, 13 grams fat, and 28 grams of protein. It's dinner time and I just wanted to show you that you don't have to feel deprived while you are in a calorie deficit. As you can see tonight, I'm gonna enjoy these french fries that are actually baked in the oven and a burger. So yeah, you can make smart choices and enjoy the foods you crave even while you're cutting your calories. As an idea, if I order this meal at Betty's Burger, that is a very famous burger joint here in Australia, it would have been around 1,400 calories. Whereas making it myself, it took me less than half an hour and it is around 600 calories. Also, this is not to say that you're not allowed to have the real deal while you're cutting. You definitely can, but if you want to have it on a weekly basis, you can just find ways to fit your macros within what you're craving. And now, before I start enjoying my meal, it's time for some updates. So currently, my weight average of the week compared to last week's average is minus 0.9 kilos, which is amazing, very similar to what I had last week, so I'm super excited about it. My energy levels have been a little low, if I have to be honest, so I might up my calories a little bit especially considering that i haven't gone to the gym this week so if i was feeling tired without even working out i'd say i need to up the calories so that 
next week I can enjoy my workouts. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. This is really good. This is actually really good. Yeah, definitely. I'll leave the recipe in the link. Again, I'll see you in the next one. Ooh.